Alright, Chief Walter, I'm here. Sorry, I feel too late. Right, we're going to practice the six foot rule here. Okay. All right. um, and, I, and I understand your video and you're probably live streaming now. Live streaming. And, and I understand that you are. I have no problem with that. Mm -hmm. We're here today because of violations of the governor's emergency order. Mm -hmm. And first of all, we're going to advise you of your rights. Mm -hmm. Okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have them present with you while you're being questioned. You cannot afford to hire a lawyer. One will be appointed to you to represent you before any question if you should wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any question without any and, or making any statement. Do you understand your rights? I do. Okay. With that being said, Mr. Still, um, what this is is a summons. Okay. You're not being arrested. You're not going to jail or anything like that. It's not an admission of guilt. It's not an admission of guilt. Um, I just need you to sign up there saying you understand that your information is correct up here. Mm -hmm. You understand the charge, which is a violation of the governor's emergency order. There are six counts for the six times that you held service. Okay. And then just sign right there. Sorry about the six foot deal there. <laughs> and if you would take your right thumb from it, and then just stick it right there. There we go. Hold on, I'll do it on the other. Let's do it. Okay. 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 Thank you, sir. Thank you. It's your fee. Yes. This is a misdemeanor summons. Like we said, it's not an admission of guilt. Um, it's uh, you'll be you'll get a subpoena from court, mm -hmm. and at that time you'll be asked to go to court. Okay. Okay. All right. Is there anything you need to say, or you'd like to ask any questions? No, sir. I'm just going to pray over you. Appreciate. Thank you, guys, and the law enforcement officers. They are upholding their duties given to them by their governor. I pray that the spirit of God will reveal to them that I'm exercising my First Amendment rights and my freedom of worship and my freedom of religion rights. God help our nation today. Let them know that I'm exercising my mandate commanded to me by Jesus Christ to preach the gospel and to assemble as a people of God in this congregation. God keep my law enforcement officers safe, protect them, and lay not anything against them that is being done against us as a persecution to the faith. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. amen. I pray for you every day, Chief. Well, thank you very much. I pray for you too. I pray for everybody Chief. myself. And okay. this this is not, this has nothing to do with religion. Nobody's trying to stop you from your religion. Yes. Or, or getting out to the public. Mm -hmm. uh, we just think it should be live stream like everyone else. For the safety. This is health safety. I understand. That's it. I understand. And we appreciate you meeting with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you all. Me too, sir. Same to you. Okay. There you have it. Uh, that was a summons. They didn't come to arrest Pastor Thomas Bell, but they came to issue him a summons. Mm -hmm. It's not anything that he's guilty of breaking any laws we have not broken any law we will not break any law there are recommendations strongly given to us by our governing officials in our state who have asked us to stand down from having church 
we have respectfully disinclined, we will continue to have church. They're doing their job, which they are required to do. They swore an oath to uphold the Constitution of the United States. This is in government overreach. They are, uh, they are asking us as in government to stop practicing our freedom of religion. And we have a mandate from God to assemble and to gather together and to keep doing what we are doing. To all of my brothers out there and sisters across America uh, who are not doing what I'm doing, I pray for you and I respect that you've heard from God. All I ask is, and, and you don't have to comply, all I ask is, is that you know that I've heard from God and I will continue to do what I'm doing. Don't fight us, pray for us. Do not fight us, pray for us as I pray for you. Because what we do in moderation today, our children will do in excess. We will continue to operate as an apostolic Pentecostal church who assembles together. In Jesus' name. Also, there are many churches in our city that meet every service, night or Sunday, but this church is being singled out because we have a very large assembly every Sunday and reach out to the community and bring people in. Feed them, clothe them, give them nourishment to their body as well as spiritual nourishment to their soul. But we're on the front line and to all our friends, Across this nation that are having church and those who are online if you don't think that this is not a de demonic attack upon the church well God is not the author of confusion to see the thousands and hundreds of thousands of our wonderful saints across America sending hate mail and uh, the absolute hatred that's being spewed to my son and to myself and to our church as killers. Where did they get that from? Where did they get that from? It has caused more division to the body of Christ. And Satan is working overtime because none of us are as strong as all of us. And when the church becomes unified, there's no foe that can defeat us. There's nothing that can come against us. We are the only thing that can hinder the great revival that God wants to send this world. America is the one nation under God that facilitates the revival around the world because we're the wealthiest nation in the world. But we have been paralyzed. We have been handcuffed, so to speak, because we are not assembling. And I understand that you're online and doing your church services. And I pray that God sends you great revival. But we all know but we all know that church online yes. is not the same as meeting in the church. Amen. And this thing started out as only temporary. Can I talk to the preachers and the saints across this country? This started out as temporary. We were persecuted by our own people as well as people from without. Because, Brother Spell, this is not against your religious freedom and right. This is only two or three weeks. And then our president said, oh, we're gonna open up on Easter. Now it's April the 30th. Even some are saying June and July. 
Pastors are being arrested in our own nation.